Good evening, everybody. My name is Bureau Lives. I'm here uh, to give an update for the Tasca County Board of Commissioners. Uh, today is Tuesday, March 23rd. This is a, a regular session uh, meeting. Uh, so I'm gonna hit some of the highlights that we've been talking about uh, today. Uh, and I'll talk a little bit about the consent agenda to begin with. Uh, we did accept a resignation from Rusty Eichhorn uh, from the Nursing Home Board, uh, effective March 16th. Uh, so I do encourage uh, uh, anybody to apply, uh, especially uh, if you have some kind of a healthcare uh, background, it's not needed, but boy, I sure would like it, because uh, uh, that's what we're doing out there uh, at the nursing home. Uh, we're trying to provide the best nursing, nursing home care we can for Itasca County. We did uh, authorize uh, posting a uh, hiring of a vacant custodian uh, position here in the courthouse. Um, clerk treasurer position here at the courthouse would be the auditor treasurer's department, a public nurse uh, for the health and human service uh, department. Um, and these are all um, um, jobs that are in the budget. There is no uh, adding a new position. These are all positions that have had retirements or departures and we are uh, filling the void at that point in time. Uh, there is some departments that have chosen not to fill things. Just so, uh, you know, anybody who stops me in the grocery store, I can answer that question for you right away. Yeah, no, there has been numerous times where we haven't filled the department. Uh, transportation department has had uh, numerous, seven, eight of them. Um, we did approve the construction of three canister uh, site buildings. These, these buildings are basically a shed, you know, be about uh, eight by 10 or eight by 16. Uh, these are for the workers that uh, work on, a, on a, uh, the sites that uh, have the canisters out in uh, greater Itasca County. We approved the contract for the city of Big Fork. Uh, this will be for the road construction of the Ryla Mill and Ash Street Road. Uh, that uh, reconstruction will be done by Casper Construction. Uh, price is about $730,000 and some change. Um, we did adopt a resolution for MnDOT detour agreement. Um, and I'll go back down here. So we, and we did approve uh, some tax forfeited land uh, to MnDOT for the State Highway 65 uh, improvement project. So just so everybody understands this, that the, the road, uh, Highway 2 and Highway 65 will be getting worked on. They're gonna put a roundabout in there so, uh, you know, be prepared for some, some uh, detours uh, and some uh, interesting things going on there at that point in time. And if you uh, are uh, in that area or are capable, uh, don't forget that there's a couple of businesses there that could use your support, uh, especially during the construction uh, zone uh, time. You will be able to get there uh, via from the north for sure, but, um, just be aware that uh, you know there's construction going on in that area in the future. We did approve the minutes and the recommendations for our land classification meetings that was done on March 9th. Um, and we did set, uh, we did, um, uh, we allowed and, and um, did set up licenses. There's four, four different uh, Resorts that needed to have a setup license, we okayed them for uh, for approval. On to the uh, regular agenda, uh, we did have one citizen input today, um, and uh, gentleman uh, Allen came up, and uh, he's from the Jesse Harry uh, Jess Harry Road area, uh, talking about land property and uh, and how uh, the assessment on it. Uh, we will be passing that off over to. Uh, to our assessor and, and to have the, that department look at that. Commissioner Warrants, we passed um, a dollar amount I don't have off the top of my head here or on my cheat sheet here that I have, I apologize. Uh, Tasca County uh, Health and Human Service Warrants, that was $1,160,000. 
Um, we are seeing a little bit of an uptick uh, uh, with child protection. Um, uh, as we look at uh, 09, or excuse me, 2020 and 2019, uh, because of COVID, I think we're gonna see more actual numbers similar to 2019. Uh, COVID uh, did uh, throw off numbers in that department. Um, we did not have a conference call today with legislators uh, that got pushed until our next uh, meeting. Um, we did have some recognition of county employees, some new hires and old hires, um, and some people leaving us. I will just tell you that uh, uh, I wish everybody uh, the best on who are retiring and all the people that are coming into the, the county uh, welcome. At that point in time, uh, we did do a recommendation or, and recognition of, of people that have worked uh, for the county, if you know, 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 years out. Um, and we do appreciate all the hard work that you do for our county. Uh, we have a a, a lot of people, um, you know, in that 15 to 30 year marker, uh, you know, when you give your life to an organization or a government like this, uh, greatly appreciated. Uh, and, and we do appreciate you and your, and your giving of your time and your knowledge to us. Next item was Health and Human Services. Sarah Anderson gave a nice update on IM Care. Uh, this presentation was a, a, just an update. She gives quarterly updates to us. Um, we have a couple of things to work on. Uh, nothing huge, uh, or I'd be talking about it in depth with you. Uh, I think everything that she, uh, she's on it too. I will tell you that I think everything that she's looking at and working on, uh, next time she comes to us in three months, it'll be solved. Um, I would tell you that Health and Human Services Ann Erickson came to us. Uh, they have had a retirement um, uh, in that department and child support officer uh, position. Uh, would like to be uh, fill it as soon as possible. The board decided that it's a good idea. Children are uh, very dear to all of our hearts. Right now, you know, just so everybody understands, so a child support officer, you know, um, they are dealing with about a caseload of about 240 kids uh, per person. Um, so just with that in mind, uh, be aware that, that uh, we okayed that to be filled. Uh, remember children didn't choose, uh, you know, the parents or anything along that line, but they have to live with it every day. And we, we as commissioners think that should be a safe place uh, to be. So um, the other thing that we did uh, next, we had a public uh, uh, COVID-19 update from Kelly Chandler. Some of the things, uh, just to bring you up to date, um, you know, in the past seven days, we've had 82 uh, positive, uh, newly identified positive cases. Past 14, we've had 152. Uh, we're at the 14 case, 14-day uh, case rate per 10,000 as of uh, March 20th would be 32. A um, couple months back, we were down as low as 15. Uh, so the last time we've had this update from Kelly, which would have been, I presume, a month ago. Um, uh, we have an additional four deaths on, uh, and my heart goes out to all the families that have, have lost death, uh, lost people of their family to COVID, but we are now at a total of 51. Uh, percentages of residents that have had the dose number one here in uh, Tasca County is at 29.8%. Uh, um, about, oh, the public health, uh, has done about 3,500 uh, people that have got dose one and twos. There's been about 13,000 people who have gotten dose one. Um, uh, total completed 
uh, vaccinations, uh, you know, not just by the public health, but by, by others, uh, is about 8,500. Um, you know, we're still in phase 1A, we're going to phase 1B. Um, I will tell you that 65 plus people here in Atasca County, we have reached about 70% uh, of the group uh, to get vaccinated already. Um, some other highlights there, phase 1B will be starting soon. Um, I would, I'm gonna give you a phone number here now, so I'll just slow down just for a second. If you would like or have any questions about trying to get a COVID vaccine, uh, and this, and when you call this phone number, you're gonna have a, a it's an information line, so it'll be like a recording, but uh, you know, area code 218-327-6784. Now, this is uh, when you call, get COVID-related ideas or, or questions of where vaccines might be. If you are homebound and need, you know, access to a vaccine, please call this number and uh, they will set up uh, somehow to come, you know, help you uh, get one, uh, get a get a vaccine. Uh, schools, uh, mostly in person, all districts are seeing increase in cases in youth needing uh, to quarantine due to exposures. Uh, just, you know, a heads up, we're, we're having uh, issues a little bit there. Uh, not uh, enough an, of an issue to shut down any schools at this point in time. Um, so phase 1B will start soon. Uh, heads up for that. I'm going to give it to you one more time. Phone number 327-6784. If you have any COVID uh, questions or you'd like to get on the vaccine list or if you're homebound, please call that. You will have a recording, but leave your name and your number and uh, or follow the prompts and uh, it'll help you. We had a authorization with a highways maintenance worker. Um, this is out of, the, out of the Arbo Township uh, area, Arbo Shop, I should say. Uh, they did have a retirement, so this is not a new position. This is a filling position. They got the okay from the county board today to go after that and to start a new list uh, of people who are capable of being on the work eligibility list. We had an IDC uh, um, questionnaire that I had uh, with my, my other fellow commissioners to have an idea how they'd like to me vote on the upcoming subject. Um, and then we had a, a talk about uh, employees uh, with the COVID uh, that uh, the, the county set up um, a program that we will be uh, called Families First uh, response act uh, in a sick paid leave. We will be continuing what we've always done there at that point in time. And I guess the last subject here that I'm going to talk about today, or the second to the last, will be this uh, uh, fairgrounds caretakers house. We have tried, and we have tried, and I meant for years now, two years at least, to give away that house, have that move, burn it down, or or demolish it. And we really tried to have it given away or sell it to somebody who would uh, relocate it. Um, and it, it just didn't work out. And I'm, and I'm sorry to say I voted to have it demolished, but we did vote to have it demolished today. Uh, we will be setting up a, a concrete pad for more of an RV style caretaker. Um, but it was just costing Atasca County too much to keep this thing up. Uh, you know, we've had a couple of couple of times where we've had broken water mains in there and so on and so forth. So it has been very challenging for Itasca County and very costly. So that passed, unfortunately, but uh, it will uh, set ourselves up for something new uh, at our at our fairgrounds. And the last thing, we will have a closed session today to talk about disputed uh, salaries. And that is it. Thank you very much for watching ICTV. Uh, any questions, uh, you know, you're more than welcome to call Atasca County uh, and our phone number, how's this? Go to www.com.
county.ataska.minnesota.us. How's that? Thank you much. Bye. <laughs>